Hello YouTube, this is Harley here and I'm bringing you an episode of Feed the Beast and you're probably completely confused of why everything's changed uh, as you can see from this. Alright, so old Feed the Beast, um, the last server, it was it was nice but the, the, pa the pack I selected was light so it didn't have that much stuff in it and we're only three episodes in and uh, uh, Pulp here, Pope, Pope, my bad, I called you Pope, uh, Pope invited me for his uh he was starting a server uh with a bunch of other people and i don't really know anyone but him but i decided this um play feed the beast on here i think it'll be more fun with more people and i'll learn a lot quicker because learning by myself was almost impossible and this is feed the beast monster i know a couple of you guys said hey i should start monster well monster has everything in it so that's why uh, i was like yeah that sounds awesome so uh we're on feed the beast monster and this is it. This is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. Uh, it actually shows like heart damage. It shows like wood damage. There's cows around and all kinds of stuff. So it's it's pretty awesome from the get-go. I've already died like two times, sadly. Uh, it was uh, a rough get-go at the beginning. Uh, I started right in the middle of the night with nothing. Um, so, but anyways, we're going to... Uh, start on this uh, world. We're gonna keep playing from here, and I think I'll be able to build a lot faster and a lot quicker. Like they have, ooh, I got some lag. Um, they have a lot of stuff already set up, like a cow farm. Like I have trouble getting cow farm. I am really bad at getting cow farms going. And there they have a big cow farm going, all kinds of foods, and uh, they have bushes and stuff. Like uh, I see this in Terra Firma Craft when I watch the uh, videos about it, and you can get like blueberries. Oh, look at a little blueberry. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. There's all kinds of mods. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty sweet. I'm really excited, and uh, I'm gonna try not to try not to talk too much while I'm playing. But uh, he just got on when I did. All right, so this is where we're starting, guys. Um, I'm gonna try to pick up a little bit where we left off. So I'm gonna do a lot of off. Whoa, a zombie head. Uh, I wonder if I can put this on. Sweet. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, I would go into like F something mode, but I don't know the buttons. Oh, there it is. Let's put it back on. Woo! F5. <laughs> I got a zombie head. Uh, but anyways. Uh, I'm going to do a lot off camera. I'm going to try to find a bunch of resources and stuff like that. Uh, try to get armored up, equip, uh, get a bunch of tools going. Uh, ca almost to where we were last time. Not quite as far and then uh, uh, I think it'll it, it won't take me nowhere near as long because of the people that are on the server and stuff like that. And uh, I've already found I don't know what that is. I just planted back. <laughs> I've already found a mine shaft, which is exciting. So um, I'll probably raid through it. Maybe get you guys some clips of the mine shaft because there's all kinds of crazy stuff down there. Uh, but I need I do need to find some armor. That is for sure. Um, but anyways guys, so that's the update for this. Uh, I'm gonna get to work here and get some stuff done. Welcome back guys. So it's been like two seconds for you guys, but it's been a couple days for me. I've been playing uh, quite a bit, uh, at least a couple hours the last two days. And I got a little bit going. It took me a while to decide. I got a mine chef going. Um, we collected diamonds, got some diamonds. I got a bunch of obsidian from it. Uh, just kind of getting back to where we were and from the beginning. And I'm about to show you my base. Boom. Yeah, it's nothing great. <laughs> it's just a little a little base. I started off with the Coke oven. Uh, right now, I'm completely full of this oil. And I can't make any more Coke until I get rid of the oil. And I don't have anything to do until I can make this drum. And, and to make the steel and stuff, I got, I got a lot of stuff to wor worry about there. Uh, so I didn't really know where to go uh, from from the get-go. And then I finally decided, hey, let's let's work on like tools. And so I know everyone talks about Tinker's Construct. So that is what I'm learning right now is Tinker's Construct. And uh, hopefully I can teach you guys. It won't be very detailed, but it'll kind of give you an idea of what's going on. So I started off with uh, the Coke oven, and then I have a generator uh, beside a, a macerator. And beside that is an electric furnace. So that's how I got most of my ores. Um... Now this is uh, Monsters one version 1.1.1. 1. 1. 1. Uh, the the stuff has changed, so you got to be really careful. I wasted so much iron on this, on like the macerator right here. So if you look at this, look at the iron. An iron plate takes four iron. So that's what I was doing. I was making four, four pieces of iron to make a stupid iron plate to make a machine block. 
Well, if you also look, it takes these iron pallets. Well, all you gotta do is take one piece of iron with a hammer, and the hammer is only six iron, which saves you so much time. Uh, but I didn't see that. I didn't notice it until after I wasted over two stacks of iron making my stuff, and oh, that was miserable, and I'm still struggling with iron. I think I, this is all I have is 12 pieces, and we're gonna try to make a, a really good tool. I think we're just gonna make another pick, even though I already have a diamond. Yeah, I know it's a waste, but I'm really interested in this stuff. So. All right, here we go. Let's start with this uh, Tinker's Construct because this is what I'm working on right now. Um, pretty much you can go and type in Tinker's and you can look and just make every one of everything uh, starting with these benches. So you have a tool station, a part builder, a pattern chest, and a stencil table. So that's, that's uh, your basic building material uh, to make your molds and stuff. And then for the tank, you mainly need these sheared bricks, and you can look how to make it. You need grout, and you put it in a furnace. Uh, you need a tank, which is like a gauge. It keeps fluids in it, like lava to smelt it. Um, and then, uh, let's see. You can use, ooh, a window would be cool. A window would be nice. Uh, but you need a controller that actually makes the tank, along with a brick. And then there's drains. Along with the drains is casting tables, faucets, and a basin. Uh, it also gives you, after you make a couple of these things, it gives you a book. Uh, let me exit out of this stuff. It gives you a book, which I have two books here. And if you follow these books, it tells you exactly how to make it. And if you re See, it tells you exactly what you need um, to make uh, the stuff. And then it kind of gives you a layout right here. Here's a, here's a quick layout. It also gives you some uh, alloys, which are really strong. Uh, we're going to work on the uh, aluminite because I have the uh, stuff to make that and it only takes two iron which is interesting. And uh, there, there's a grout. So if you get the book you can kind of go through it. There's also other tutorials and stuff. But it's really cool. Uh, so here's the part builder. Um, I already made some stencils. Let's see here. Um, I think what I have to do now is take these stencils. There's a way of combining the chest with the, the, the stencil thing, but I never, I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> so that, that kind of stinks for me. So there's a way of, uh, let's see here. I need, no, I need the part builder, this thing. Okay, so we're going to put the pick head in there with some wood blocks. And it's going to give us a wooden pick. Um, we only need, only need one, I believe. I believe I'm doing this right. I could be doing this completely wrong, guys. Uh, we're gonna put that. Oh, here's the here's the chest, so I don't have to waste time. Um, this will give us a wooden rod, but it it always gives us two uh, because it's one half half a cost material. And then we need a uh, what is it, a binding pattern, and that'll always give you two. So we're gonna get a couple rods, and uh, that's all we need out of that. So now we have uh, some uh, some equipment there. I guess you can say. Uh, all right, so here's my tank. Here's my controller. There's my uh, <coughs> sear tank. That's uh, where I put the lava. I dump some lava in. This is a bucket or a basin, and I can pour like a um, pour this gold out of here into this basin, and it'll make a block. But I don't want to do. It. I think I gotta right click it or something. I don't want to do that. Instead, I want to go over here. This is uh, casting tables, and this is a uh, faucets coming out, and these right here. These Little blocks are drains, uh, so those are the stuff you need. We're gonna throw down our pick, uh, our stick, and our wood binding. I believe. Whoa, it's not a wood binding tool. <laughs> okay, then we want to turn all these drains on, and we're. Oh, I probably don't have enough. Probably don't have enough gold to do this. Yeah, let me put some more gold in here. See, I have 12. How many do you need? I'm just going to load it up. I haven't used gold for anything else. And if you space them out like this, uh, oop, uh, it'll slowly melt them down to nothing. So there we go. We have our stencils. Right-click it. And now we have a tool binding cast. All right. So let's put that back, actually. Now we just got to do this one. Will let us not yet. All right. So along with this heating up, we're gonna need iron, or aluminum, um, iron, and some obsidian, which I got right here. So we'll put that in there also. Let's just go ahead and put. See, that's one, two, it's four. 
So we need uh, two pieces of this, so we need four of these also. And let all that heat up and get put in there. It'll divide it up, and then uh, I'll need ten pieces of aluminum behind it. So I guess we can get, I'll need eight more pieces of that. So this is about to be finished, and we can turn our stuff on. Oh, there it goes. That's cool. So I need eight more of this. So I got two. There right there should be eight, I believe. That's ten in total. So that right there should make two aluminite. Uh, if uh, my ratios are correct. So now we got 20 gold. Oh, it's getting dark in here. Sorry, guys. I think I did something wrong with this stick. The stick is not correct. Um, I didn't think the stick was. <laughs> the stick does not make sense to me. All right, so it's a rod. Tool pattern rod. All right, let me uh, look into this and make sure. And then uh, this will this will finish up. And we'll just see how it goes. Alright guys, so I was correct on that. Uh, I, I don't know what the deal was, but all you need is like a stick is what it is. It's technically a Tinker's Construct stick, but uh, I'm, ass I'm assuming a regular stick will work. But uh, there we have our three casting molds, and uh, I had to go get some more lava. But now we have uh, all of our stuff smelted down. You have a gold, a uh, lumite. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it correctly. And we have extra obsidian. So we're going to select the alumite. Alumite. Yeah. We're going to select it to make sure it's on the bottom. And then we're going to go over here and start casting. So you just right click these faucets. Fa faucets. And then voila. <laughs> Looky there. And then we can grab our uh, tools. And we'll go over here and bind them together. Uh, this pick is supposed to be better than a, a, a diamond pickaxe. So... That is exciting. <laughs> it really is. So let's, let's drop these in there. Oh yes, that is beautiful. Tinker's construct pickaxe reinforced two. Uh, it's not very fast on that, of course, but I was gonna test it out. Let's go down here to our mine shaft. Uh, I built. I'm building a little room. This is where I was gonna put it, but I decided to put it on surface. Uh, but this is just a little room I've been working on. And yeah, that's pretty nice. How many blocks will it break? A hundred? Whoa, I'm getting lag, I think. Alright, so if you look in the bottom left, it says 100. It still says 100. But like if you switch to a uh, diamond pickaxe, it says an actual number. And when you break a block, it takes that number away. Okay, so it's not accurate. I can break like four blocks and it will it will still stay at 99. So that's interesting. Uh, that's really cool and I feel like it's cheaper than anything else. I mean, it's not expensive at all. So I really like it and it's pink. That's, that's kind of neat. Um, I mean, I'm not like a big pink person, but... That's pretty cool. So I'm really, I'm really liking Tinker's construct. It's, it's quite a bit of fun. Uh, so let's see. There's a couple more things we can do. Um, I, I do have uh, enchanting stuff ready. I just gotta make it. I just gotta craft everything. Um, let's see, what all we got here. I think I'll work on that. I'll probably put that. I want to just put everything in this little area. <laughs> and this is a, an essence berry bush, and it gives me XP. So if you watch, boom. So that's really awesome. I like that a lot. <laughs> I really do. Um, let's see. I wanted to enchant. I would love to enchant, I guess, this pick uh, and see what I get. Um, I do know where some more diamonds are, but I haven't, I'm just going to wait to enchant. I have so many things I need to do. Uh, so I'm going to spend a little time uh, off camera, add a few more things. I'll probably do an enchanting table area like over here somewhere. Uh, just kind of expand our area. I think it would be kind of fun. And uh, we'll, we'll enchant. Uh, I do have a bunch of these berry bushes to do. Uh, it's sad because I was level 30. I have 40 of them. <laughs> I was level 35. I died by a little creeper. Or not a little creeper. A little zombie. So that was kind of embarrassing. Uh, but oh well. So we may try to get level 30 and enchant with those berries I have left over. And uh, we'll go from there. Alright guys. It is time to enchant. Exciting. This is very exciting. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I wasn't for sure about the ch enchantment interface, so I brought lapis, anyways. Okay, so uh, I decided just to do a diamond pickaxe right now, because um, I want fortune, and I don't know. I'm just. I'm a little worried messing with this pick until I learn more about it and how good it actually is. 
So we're going to stick with the diamond. And level 30. Yeah, fortune 3. <laughs> Efficiency 4, unbreaking 3. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. <laughs> uh, that is awesome. It really is. So I made a bunch of more uh, Illumite. Um, got 13. I think I want to work on a sword because mine's about to break. And so to do that, we'll leave those two. In fact, we'll go ahead and get... Oh, let's go ahead and make uh, our stencils. So that, that'll be a pattern head. So to make another one of these stencils, what do I need to do? Let's work this together, guys. All right, so you need one of these blank ones. You drop it in there. You have the next pattern, and I need a blade. Sword blade, yeah. Okay, now with the sword blade, I can bring it over here. Set it down in there. We're going to select gold to have us a, a uh, layout. Strike it. Strike it. Come on. It did this to me earlier, and I'm really confused why. Because I, I got gold selected. Maybe it's because I don't have enough lava. Gold is selected. And then you're going to right-click the faucet. Come on, I know I'm doing this correctly. Uh, my suggest is, or my guess, is that we don't have enough lava. Which doesn't make much sense to me. Um, it's weird. I used those essence berries to get to level 30. And uh, they, they worked very well. <laughs> I still have like 20 left. I used like maybe 15 of them. And, uh, man, they, they get you up there fast. One of my next goals is to uh, make a, a XP drain tank. Um, that would be awesome. And we also need to make one of these oil rigs so we can make more coke. Because my coke right now is the only source of power I have. So it's it's sad, but it's all I got right now. And um, that's it's okay because coke works perfectly fine. Oh, come on. I know I'm not doing this wrong. Okay, am I doing this wrong? Yes, I am. <laughs> My bad. I needed that anyways. So I need to make a wooden stencil, right? Yeah. So we stick that in there and we're going to make a wood one. Boom. Okay. And we can just drop that in place. And now we're going to put gold on top of this to make a mold. Oh, there we go. <laughs> You're probably yelling at the TV. Uh, <laughs> My bad, guys. I hope I have enough gold for this. Woo! Uh-oh. Running money low. I can't tell. If I don't have enough gold, that's not good, because I don't even think I have any more backup gold. No, did it just waste all that gold? No way. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I think all that gold is gone. The only gold I have is uh, this crushed gold that I need to get rid of now unless there's some in here nope oh you gotta be kidding me I think it just used all that gold up for no reason because it wasn't able to make it oh that's embarrassing <laughs> that sucks so bad oh man sorry guys that's that just stinks really bad it really does dang it okay so I guess uh I just have to get more gold going all I have is coal so we'll just stick a bunch of coal in there for now and then the power that's uh, I got more aluminum I can get going darn it oh well all right guys so I think that's all I got for this episode um, that that's really inconvenient that it's just used all my gold for some reason because I guess it I don't know how many it takes to make this right here probably takes at least nine but I thought I had nine in there at least I don't know but that's all I got uh, leave any suggestions if you have any uh, I'm really enjoying this tinkers construct it's a lot more fun whenever you figure out how to actually use it uh, I, I must say so uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll talk to you guys later